Antivir Singh Mehta. Now that the Honourable Lady of the Opposition is here, I think it's my duty, and Honourable uh, Kabir Hashim, uh, I do not know whether you saw this Honourable Lady of the Opposition. It's an article written by Dr. Diane Jayatilaka, and there is something derogatory of the SLB. I don't approve of this. I want to send this to you. It gives a photograph of Honourable Kabir Hashim and asks Kabir, is he Ranil's or Sajid's economist? This little part I can't approve and I'm sending it to you so that you can see for yourself. Senior member of Sajid, uh, SJB's economic policy unit, Kabir Hashim MP, is the prime author of an important new piece on economic policy which makes no mention of SJB, Sajid, uh, or President Premadasa names Ranil three times, merely reiterates his policy and endorses, judging by that article, the SJP does not exist. Now, I want to send this to you. I thought it's my duty. Uh, I will send this to you. That part is derogatory of you and Honorable Kab Kabir Hashi. <laughs> Honorable Deputy Speaker, it's nice to know that the member opposite is very keen on SJB politics <laughs> and uh, it points in the direction of a wholehearted recognition on the part of this parliament that uh, SJB is the alternative government and uh, we are about to uh, assume power with the blessings of the Sri Lankan people. Now, as far as SJB economic policy is concerned, and our principles are concerned, those policies are not dictated according to the visions and practices of present leaders, former leaders, and potential future leaders. Our economic policy is determined through a rational decision-making process which looks at the past, present and future challenges that Sri Lanka will face. So we, as a political party, uh, do not subscribe to the low-grade type of decision-making that is prevalent in Sri Lankan political system. Rather, uh, we go by a data-based, science-based, evidence-based approach in formulating our economic policy, not mere its formulation. Certainly, we have to look at its practical implementation according to a time schedule. And also, we are focusing on another important aspect of governance, which is lacking in our country, that is monitoring and evaluation and feedback and how we readjust our policies according to the strengths and weaknesses and the follow-up of the policy process. So I want to reiterate to you, uh, SJB policies uh, are not dictated by the theories and practices of past political leaders, political theoreticians, economists. Rather, it's an appreciation of all the attributes and faults of various approaches and designing our own approach, which is primarily a middle-of-the-path approach, a social democratic approach, which basically combines the wealth creation aspect of capitalism, capitalism with a human face, but also uh, understands the anomalies of capitalism, the various divisions that capitalism creates, and through an adoption of social democratic pol policies, we try to alleviate the grievances of the less well-off in society. So we look at justice and fairness in terms of redistribution of income and wealth. So that is our, uh, that is a basic synopsis of our economic policy. So uh, it's good that various uh, theoreticians and various observers, uh, they write articles, 
we read those articles we take what it what should be absorbed and taken and we reject those that should be rejected so i mean that's freedom of speech freedom of writing uh, but at the end of the day sjb economic policies will be rational will be grassroots based and we will encompass the whole country and we will have a national approach irrespective of ethnicity religion caste creed and economic and social groupings the traditional divisions that have made that have been one contributory factor for sri lanka's bankruptcy thank you me karu vipaksha nayaka thuma inni samang ahanne daily ft eke me mitra kasim ge patthare thiyena karane baluwa mata prashnayak thiyena man punchi karane kama thuma ahanne attaro dayan jayathilaka mahatme oba thuma ge upadeshaka da nadda bohoma dirga uttara ek awashya nay punchi karane e thuma ehema karane me mage welawe ma man oba thuma ta denne e karane විපක්ෂ නායකතුමා දායන් ජයතිලක මැතිතුමා පමණක් නෙවෙයි මේ රටේ සියුලුම විද්වතුන් ඉදිරිපත් කරන අදහස් උදහස් වලට අපි ඕනම සවන්දීමක් කරනවා ඒ ඕනම අදහස් උදහස් වලට සවන්දීමක් කරලා ඒවා බාර ගැනීම සහ බාර නොගැනීම අපේ අයිතියක් ඒ වගේ මම ඔබතුමන්ලට කියන්න කැමතියි අපේ ආර්ථික කමිටුවේ හර්ෂඩ සිල්වා මැතිතුමා කබීර් හෂිම් මැතිතුමා ඉරාන් වික්‍රමනත්ත මැතිතුමා හොඳ ජනතාවාදී ප්‍රගතිශීලි ආර්ථික ප්‍රතිපත්ති නිර්මාණය කරලා තිබෙනවා මට ඒ අය පිළිබඳව 100ට ලක්ෂ වාරයක් විශ්වාසය තිබෙනවා ඒ නිසා මම ඔබතුමාට කියන්න කැමතියි දයන් ජයතිලක මැතිතුමා ඇත්ත වශයෙන්ම ජාත්‍යන්තරයේ ලොකුම ජයග්‍රහණ ලැබලා එයාව කොංකරේ අපි නෙවෙයි තමුන්නාන්සලා පොහොට්ටුව පොහොට්ටුව තමයි කොංකරේ ජාත්‍යන්තරයේ ජයග්‍රහණය ලබා ගත්තු ඒ තානාපතිවරයාව खंडा <laughs> ඒ මොකද වියත්මකට තේලා තිබෙනවා පොහොට්ටුවත් එක්ක අනාගතයක් නැහැ කියලා. ඒ නිසා අපි අරයවයි මෙයාවයි නංගම් ජාතී නාගම් මනුව අපි කිසිම කෙනෙක් කොන් කරන්නේ නැහැ. ඔව් එතුමගේ උපදෙසුත් මම ගන්නවා. කිසි ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ. හැබැයි හැම උපදෙසක්ම ගන්නේ හොඳට අවබෝධ කරගෙන තොරතුරු කරුණු කාරණා විශ්ලේෂණය කරලා. එහෙම නැතුව තමුන්නාන්සලගේ පාර්ශ්වයේ ඉන්න නායකයෝ වගේ කියන දෙයක පාරට අපි ගිලින්නේ නැහැ. අත්පමිතු